Greetings friend, I'm going to predict and react to the techniques that Ranks uses to solve this New York Times hard Sudoku. Can I find something that Ranks may have overlooked? Or better yet, is he going to teach me something new about Sudoku? Let's find out. Click below for puzzle and original video links. And with that, it's solving time. All right, let's get this playback speed normal and get the show on the road. Right, there's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, so up here, we do have two ones looking into this box. This one looks in, so yep. one's placed right here. I now have this four and this four also looking over, so it's four and one of these two. All right, he's using Snyder Notation, any time in a three by three block. You see two possibilities for can't mark it, and in case you solve one cell, he can solve the other right away. If you're new to this channel, I welcome you to Smart Hobbies. Subscribe if you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. Let's see what Ranks does next. He likes working across these uh, upper three blocks and then the middle and then the lower blocks. These are also called belts or bands. Um. Looking for anything else to do here before moving on. He can mark the threes right there if he wanted to, as Snyder notation. Five, five. But there's really not much up here okay, in the top. On. Uh, one, eight, nine. So we do have two eights looking in here, and this eight looks up. So eights in one of these cells. Three looks in here, and three looks down. That's a crossing on this eight, nine. There's a so there's a three in one. Yeah, so Ranks uses the term crossing. I use pointing pair. So the three comes down. This three cuts across. So there's two possibilities for three. He's going to see with his marking to help new Sudoku solvers, it will mark in red if, you, if that's not a viable mark. So he sees there's a three right here. So he's going to be able to clean it up, put the three there. And then you might see you have a one here, one there, three here, three here. You're going to end up with a one, three hidden pair right there. But with this three, he'll be able to solve for the three here and the one down there used to actually this three also looks in uh how did i miss that i don't know but anyway there's a three placed there um so now these two threes look down this three looks in that places a three here these threes look over this three looks down there's a three in one of these two and then up here there's a three in one of these two uh no is that true sorry i, I was i was thinking we already had the three in this box but that is definitely un so three can actually be in any of these three cells and then any of these four. So I think that's all we're going to get out of threes right now. Okay, so what else do we have over here? Um, ones, nines. Okay, nine is interesting because this nine, these three. And then so if he solved the one, you see these two ones here? He solves this for a one. He has a two, five, seven going up the column. You'll see there's a five here and here. You can actually solve for a five there and leave the two, seven. All right, there. So there's another digit he could be solving. Um, let's see what he does with the ones. I think he's looking to see a pointing pair of nines right there, and then you can put nines up there in block six. This nine sees this one. So actually, nine is limited to these two cells for the row, which claims the box. It's saying, hey, these two can't be nine. But I mean, really, the rest of the box can't be nine because the nine needs to be here. That's a good point. Uh, you can also see as a claiming pair. If you notice that none of these spots can contain nine, you could say, okay, that's the claiming pair of nines. And then you could eliminate the nines from these two spots because the nine already cuts across. Or you could have saw the pointing pair down here. Either way, you get the same result. This row needs a nine. It's only going to get it from these two cells, which means that the nine in box six has to be in row four. It cannot be in row five or six. So these are not nine anymore. And then this nine looks in. Um, and this nine looks in. So nine in this row ends up over here. Um, I do need a seven, but that's not helpful. Yeah, I don't see much. Five looks into here, putting a five in one of these two cells. Until I move down here to block seven, then he's going to get some more solves. Because this four. eight cuts. A these two fours. This eight cuts across too. And with this eight, he's going to be able to solve for an eight right there. Um, and now he's looking with the fours. With these two fours, he's got you know two spots for a four. Not really going to do too much for the solve at this point. Look into this box. Putting four in one of these two. That one I'm going to get. 
Five isn't one of these two for the row, which is a little interesting, because we have this five here and this five here, but I don't have a good way to mark that, so I won't. Um, this eight looks into here, and this eight there looks you down, go. like places an eight right here. What are the three digits left for this box? They are one, two, and five. So the one can only go here, because we have the two ones looking down. Then we're down to two, five. And so now, what we're seeing here is that the five in this box, based on our quarter marks, is limited to these two columns right here. Yeah, good point. So he's making, he's saying, hey, this is like a mini X-wing area. This is the fives are in columns two and three here. They got to be in column one up there. And so you have this five, you're going to limit the five to this spot. I kind of cover these claiming pairs, hidden pairs, every strategy ranks as you so far in my Sudoku solving guide. You can download it for free in the pinned comment below. And the five in box seven is limited to the same two columns. So the question we want to ask is, where the heck is the five going in column one? Because we know that box four and box seven can't give the five to column one. And then also this five sees here, and this is not a five. The column does need a five, so it's going to go here. It's the only place in the column. And we're left with two digits, a uh, two and a seven, two seven. Um, unfortunately not resolved. We can fill two seven yeah. there. Great explanation, though. Really nice. This one's not four or five, so it could be two, not three, four, five. It could be six. It's not seven, eight, or nine. Okay. Down to two six. Wow, but you have the two six, two seven, and two five. That's funny. Um, all right, what else can I do over here? Got a bunch of digits. We have we got the threes already. The one surprisingly not helpful. And so what you see here, you have these nines. The nines are limited. Columns eight, nine here. They're going to be limited to columns eight, nine here. Another mini X wing. The only place to put a nine is going to be in this spot. All right, so you can see that he's going to be able to solve a nine right there. Hopefully, he sees that. So not too helpful. I need to see. Eight in this box is down here. We have these two eights looking in. So eight's down here. Um, anything else I can do? Eight, nine. Yeah, your goal right now, and what Ranks is trying to do, you want to fill in digits. He doesn't think it's time to actually do more of the filling in canvas like he did here with this two six and he's right like he said we can get this nine there which is going to put more restriction here on column seven which will intersect a little bit with row eight and then you know this might be a focal point that i'd be looking at once you got the nine right there what you're looking for is a two three four and a seven to be in these spots and so you have two three seven there two four right there uh, so the threes cover these spots. You'd be able to put a three right there. You see how that works? And then you're going to be able to make some more uh, solves here. Nine would be the only interesting thing. So nines look in. So nines in one of those two. And now we have these nines looking. Uh, there you go. He sees it now. So the question we want to ask is, where does nine go in this column? And you can take a look. These two nines tell us they're not here. Eight, five, one, and six are not nine. This nine says it's not here, but remember we also have these pointing nines in this box, or these claiming nines for the row. That makes nine. That means nine's not here either. Otherwise, uh, if I were to put a nine here, I would not be able to place a nine in this row. If you remember, that's what these corner marks are telling us. But I have to put nine here in this column. The only place for it. There you go. And now, oh, hopefully, you can see two. for the. Maybe and you can see where the three goes in, this box. in here so as well. This, these two nines looking in. This nine looks in now. So oh, there you go. There. Places the nine there, places the nine there. Very nice. Okay. All right, good job following us up, Ranks. That was good. Okay. Um, I do have two threes looking up, so let's put, put a three in one of those two. What can I get out of this? There are four digits left in this column. We need two, three. I'm already looking at the three and seeing that it's placed, yeah, because this three is taken out of these two. This three takes it out of here, so this is the only place for three. Nice job, Ranks. And the remaining three digits in this column are two, four, and seven. He'll be able to place a seven, too, because you got this uh, seven, seven and that seven. This seven and this seven. The so seven only goes there. Now we're down to two, four, which I don't think is resolved. Remember, we had, okay, so we have two, two, four, two, five, two, six, and two, seven. I was like, we should have a pair by now, but no, we don't. Um, that's funny. All right, the four left in this row are one, two, seven, eight. So eight is placed. 
And you can place a two as well. Nope. So he made a mistake there. Because the eight's already in there. So it's a one, two, five, and a seven. All right. So he actually with the one, seven is a two, five. He cannot make that place. So he just, that's okay. It happens. I, I, I miss scanned that. We already had an eight in a row. Whoops. Let's try that again. One, two, five, and seven. Um, one, two, five, seven. I mean, this sees a five, so this is one, two, seven, and this sees a seven, so this is one, two, five. Oh, it sees a one as well. Okay, not a one. Um, that's not too exciting. Let's see what else do we have going on here. So he can mark with this three here. He's got the two threes right there. Give a little bit of restriction. He can also look here in column six. Anywhere it has five cells or more filled out, that's where I'd be looking right now. And you got a two, four, five, and six. So you have the four, five here. This is going to create a two, six. So this is a two, six. You can actually solve this for a five, knowing that. And then this would be a four. All right, hopefully you can kind of see what I'm talking about here in column six. That's where I'd go next. Okay, I want to I wanna make sure we finish scanning vertically here. I feel like we caught most of it, but let's just double check. Um, the nine, the three. And you see here, he has two, five, six, and an eight in this area. So the eights can't be there. He could actually solve this cell for an eight if he wanted to. And then... You'd have two five six. This is two six two five six. One four five. If you okay. got the eight here. You could do the and, eight right and, there. Solve the three. Here. This three does look up, and this three looks in. So three is in one of these two. I feel like I found. Uh, it seems like I found enough to finish this puzzle, but it's hanging on. Let's look at this top row. I think he did. I think if he focused here on column three or on column six. He would do it. Look up here. He has a two seven eight. Is this enough? With this eight, you can put a two seven. So you have a two seven naked pair. Okay, that's helpful. And then with the eight and this eight, you could actually still solve the eight here and solve the six right there, which will help because then he can solve that eight there and make more restriction. Um, let's see what he does. We need two seven eight here. Well, this one's not eight, so it's only two seven, and that does make a two seven pair. So what are the other two digits? We need a seven. Oh no, not seven. We need six and eight. The eight is, can only go here, and then this is the six. There you go. Nice uh, job. But that I mean between these two, these are six eight pair, and then this. Let's see if he continues with the eight and three. Pair, we moved two and seven from these cells, so really it was a naked eight. But anyway, or was this a naked six? Who knows? Um, <laughs> however you want to think about it. Up here, what do we need? Two, seven, eight. I'll just mark that out because eight's up here now. So this eight looks in. Eight is oh eight is placed in this box. There you go. Places the three. Yep. Then places so, this three yep. and four. This is two or seven. It's not a seven. So this is perfect. The two. Yep. He's got it. Resolves the two seven. Looking really resolves good. This two and six. Then the five and the two. Resolves this five. Resolves that five. That's now an eight. Uh, what is the pair left in this column? The four. Four and seven. He's got a seven. Order, that's four, that's seven, because that's seven there. Um, up here, these are two. So what is the... And at this point, I'm doing what he's doing. We're going to do a little bit of pairs. The restrictions now, you got two cell pairs, right? So right here, you have a seven and a six. I see the seven there, so this is going to be seven, six. And then you're going to have two, five. You just don't have a lot of digits in columns eight and nine yet. So I'd be filling out these guys over here, working my way towards the right. Okay, here. Do need a two, two and five. Okay. Pair here is seven. I miss something. Six and seven. So this seven tells us the order. That's seven. That's six. This is now a single for the column. Looks like it's uh, four. Good job. This row needs a one, four, and nine. The four can only go there. That's the nine, and that's the one. So that's a two. Nice. That's a nine. We get the four here. Yeah, he's looking good. Okay, let's look at the three digits left here. Now we need one and eight, which go here. Because of this one and eight. So then this one is 
whatever's left. That'll be it. his six. Yep. Okay, finishing up. Uh, this these two are both pairs. Uh, the box needs a two. And so what I'd be looking for here, just like he's doing, is I'm going to focus on these pairs first before I'd come down here because there's a little bit too many variables, too much marking. You know, he's going to see this that there's a two five here with this five. He's going to be able to do the five and the two, and then he'll get the one here. Put restriction right there. He's fine. He's looking good. Goes down here somewhere. The box needs a four, which goes exactly here. You need a five, which goes here. That's the two. That's a one. This is six. Okay. Now you can put the six down there. Uh, the yep. three digits left in this box are two, six, seven. So the six goes there, and then two and seven. And then this cell is a one. Yep. The now clear all this. Two. All the rest of the cells up. This box needs a two. It goes up here somewhere. We need a five. It goes down here. We need a six. Six should be placed. Yeah, that's six. That's five. That's two. Five. That's two. And then we need seven, and we're done. All right. I'm trying to guess what he's going to say is the key. I think it was this two seven up here. Very helpful. And then also. Uh, what I liked was the way he used the claiming pair to get the nine. I think, you know, those are a little bit harder to spot in New York Times, hard Sudoku. I wonder what he is going to say. All right. Just under 10 minutes. Um, seemed like a pretty straightforward puzzle today. I'm trying to think. We had, we had a couple hiddens in columns that we found by lining things up. And I think that was really important. So we had... What was it, the fives? We, I think we had fives here and here. I'm trying to remember. Forgive me if I'm not exactly right. But we had the fives lining up in boxes. And that placed the five in this column. Yep. And then we also had the same thing with nines. But the nines yep. ended up lining yep. up, I assume, here and here. And a little bit with the threes as well. Yeah. Uh, placing the nine in this column. And that, was, that only happened because we found claiming nines in this row. Where I looked at this nine. And I was like, well, where does nine go in this row? Because it's out of these three. And I saw that this coincidentally also looked in or full so the claiming nines here gave us this nine very important uh, so yeah uh, and that, that actually happened right away i just didn't immediately see the consequence till later because these were already these nines were already there the claiming nines here would take them out of here and then that places this nine this is great stuff i love that ranks is doing this analysis uh like great chess players will go back to the game and see what worked well what didn't work well I encourage you to do this with Sudoku. I will go back and figure out what type of solves, what did I miss, uh, what mistakes did I make, and how can I fix it. Thank you so much, Franks, for letting me review your wonderful solve in New York Times Hard Sudoku. You want to see more of Ranks? Check out how he reacted to one of my solves here. I do wish you the best on your Sudoku journey, and thank you so much for watching.